You all right? Daddy? The bastard didn't hurt you, did they? She can't speak. We got a gag in her mouth. Give her back, you animals. She suffered enough. Hand over the stuff. Hand over Gracie. I'm here for you, sweetie. Hand over the fucking stuff. All right, calm down. Both of you. Oye, we put the ice in the middle. We walk back. Then, to send over the girl. We leave, and you pick up the stuff. Entiende? Sure. Show us the goods. Come back to me, honey. Let her go. Nikabelik. How is it? That whenever something is stolen from me, you are not far away. I have never stolen anything from you, Mr. Bulgarin. This man, the big pedic, and his Dominican bitch, they stole my diamonds. And you have been trying to rob the thieves to rob me. Can't you? you did to that man, but we ain't leaving here without them diamonds. Alright, I think I know who's got the ice. Fucking got him. There's some more of them up there. This is it.
be this way. Let's split up. I'll take the high road and you take the low road. Enjoy that, you... Give us that fucking ice! You're trapped! We'll let you go if you give them up! <laughs> I'm screwed either way! If I don't give you the diamonds, you kill me here and you take them! I do give you the diamonds, Mr. Bogarin kills me later! I don't nobody having them! Screw all of you! Llevano isto! You selfish piece of cock sucking shit! Cock-sucking piece of shit! Shit, I don't want to spend another minute in this crap hole. Let's get out of here. Fuck, fuck, fuck! All that trouble for nothing. Kidnapping the bitch. Holding on to her, fighting through the damn Russians, all of that for jack shit. Look on the bright side. At least you got to meet Gracie. Screw that. I got close to knocking her teeth out. That was about it. We ain't got shit now. Maybe we was gonna have to give up them diamonds to fucking Ray Pacino, but we would have got a payday. Now we ain't getting shit. Yeah, but there is no guarantee we would have made any money out of those diamonds anyway. I've got a suspicion those were the ones Ray Pacino got me to handle a while back. They're bad luck. Me and some biker had to try to sell them to a diamond dealer, and it turns into a bloodbath. That was when those friends of Gracie's must have gotten there. Stole them from you, did they? No. They stole them from the guys I sold them to. Shit. These diamonds have been trouble since Ray first made me take them out of a trash can for them. It's good they are on their way to a landfill somewhere. Best place for them. The population of Liberty City would have been higher if we had. You might be right, Nico. Whose fucking diamonds were they anyway? They're not Ray's, I can tell you this much. Maybe they belong to this homosexual man. Gracie's friend. I don't know, maybe to Bulgarin. Bulgarin? He the motherfucker who busted up our peaceful hostage exchange? What in Christ's name went on back there anyways? Some time ago, I worked for Mr. Bulgarin in Europe, smuggling people across the Adriatic. The ship sunk. The cargo sunk to the bottom of the sea. I had to swim for my life. Bulgarin had lost a lot of money that night and he needed someone to blame. This was one of the reasons I leave Europe and come here to Liberty City. And now he shows up claiming the ice belongs to him. 
What are the chances? Our paths crossed back when I was living in Hope Beach as well. My cousin and I moved up to Boa to get away from him with another man called the Beach and Rascal. That's a real shame. I can see you fitting right in down in Hope Beach, Nico. Probably a good thing you got out, though. Wouldn't have met me if you'd stayed, would you? When you put it like this, I'm one lucky motherfucker, Becky. Well, Nico, that was a whole lot of effort for no fucking reward. Story of my life. It is the story of a lot of lives, Becky. I'm getting used to hearing it. See you, Nico. I gotta go break the news to Gerald. At least I'm gonna be on the other side of some bulletproof glass to him. But you know what? I'm still fucking scared. Good luck. I got some bad news for you. You weren't the only one who thought they owned those diamonds. Turns out the serious Russian called Bulgarin claims ownership as well. Damn it, Nicky, cut the bullshit! You got him? Where are they? Liberty City dump? I don't know. They got thrown into traffic. Hey, Kate, you wanna hang out? Sure. I'm not doing anything now, actually. Come by. See you shortly. Just go on the website. I'll leave the time to Holy shit! Preferred it to this one. That outfit again? I still like it.
же от такого и бежали в Америку. Вот она, свобода. Opportunities that most of the world could not imagine. An Irish family manages to make it the 18th century when or wherever they are. The men in my family are just highwaymen and moralists, usually both in equal measure. I don't know if I'd agree that Packy was a moralist. He seems like a highwayman through and through. You should see him around me. If a man even looks in my direction, he threatens to rip his heart out. Well, it's a good thing that we are just friends. If this was a date, I'd be scared. It's nice to have a friend, Nico. I feel like you are someone I can speak to. I enjoy talking with you. I'm not asking you in. We're friends, nothing more. Well, good night then, Kate. that I have not found and killed you yet, Dmitri Raskolov? Do not worry. Your time will soon come. I went to the sewage works on Charge Island. I picked through the bodies, and yours was not amongst them. Very disappointing. I'm sorry. Or maybe the thugs who failed to kill me should be blamed, though. I cannot believe that you would steal from my friend Ray Bulgarin twice. First in Europe, and then these diamonds in Liberty City. You are in debt to him. Why don't you just pay him what you owe, and we can all get along. I have no debts to Bulgarin, Dimitri, and the only thing I owe you is a bullet to the temple. You will be paid in full. Fear not. You have a sharp tongue, Nico. It's only a matter of time before it is cut out of your mouth. Goodbye. <laughs> 